my beauties welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well and having a wonderful sunday today i have a little bit of a different video for you guys it's neither the brand bing sunday series nor the diy sundays in fact i have decided to take the sundays platform to address some of my uh, opinions about some things it could be a brand or it could be a product and uh, i have decided uh, to do this as and when i feel that i need to address this and talk about this Today I'm going to be talking about one product. It's going to be a very short and sweet, however, a very informative video about a product called the Farsali Volcanic Elixir Pollination Beauty Oil. I have been doing a little bit of research about this product, so I'm going to give you my opinion. Now, if you're new here, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and you also hit the notification bell. Do also follow me on my Instagram account. And now, without further ado, let's dive right into this video. So guys, first I'm going to go ahead and dive in, show you the inner and outer packaging and then give you my opinion about this product. That's the packaging. You get a beautiful black and gold packaging. That's the outer cardboard packaging. And then you have the glass bottle with a dropper. Pretty impressive packaging, right? And uh, some great marketing out there as well. Now, I did a little bit of a research on the product and the ingredient list. What surprised me the most is that the only ingredient in this uh, volcanic elixir pollination beauty oil is just and simple and plain tamanu oil. Now before I get into the details, this product was sent to me, I did not buy it. However, I never asked for the product. This was sent to me by the brand and uh, as curious as I am about the ingredients like you guys know, I obviously do my research moment I get any sort of skincare or I buy any sort of skincare or hair care. And uh, just to let you know, the cost of the product is 4750, that's 4750 rupees in Indian currency for 30 ml of product. Now, what surprised me the most and actually a little bit shocking is that there is just the Manu oil in there for that much amount of money. So I'm literally spending 4750 rupees uh, for the Manu oil, that's 30 ml of it. Then I did a little bit of my own research and uh, I found on a couple of Indian websites and that uh, any of the websites in India is going to give you Tamanu oil um, and the brand that I'm going to talk about, one of the brands that I have been using is Deve Herbs. Now I'm not comparing or saying that brand is better than the, the other but I have just used their oils and liked and I've used their Tamanu oil as well and the cost of their Tamanu oil is 400 rupees and then if you want to buy a dropper it's 25 rupees so 425 rupees. Then I did a little bit of more digging and saw that there are several brands that are giving the Manu oil for the similar price range. I then compared the oil, used it on either side of my face and saw the texture exactly the same guys, even the results. Um, now you must be wondering that uh, what are you talking about? This is an international brand, there's custom duty and many other things applicable on top of the MRP. Rightly so, you have a point there. So I did a little bit of research that if you're anywhere in the world internationally and if you want to buy a good pure tamanu oil, then there's a website called Widerman Shop where you can get a good tamanu oil for $18. So $18 versus $54, that's quite a wide and a huge and also a shocking price difference in my opinion. So rounding off a couple of points here for you guys and uh, to let you know why I made this video. Firstly, I'm not favoring Indian brands and not saying that Indian brands are better than international or vice versa. All I'm saying is judge a product on its credibility and not where it comes from and I do that with all the beauty products and so should you. Now when we talk about Indian brands and if you've been following on social media, there has been a lot of buzz and when it comes to Indian brands, we rip them apart with their ingredients, their pH uh, uh, level of their products, so on and so forth, there's so much conversation. However, when it comes to an international brand, we do not hold them with the same standard. Why is that? If we are questioning an Indian brand, my point is, why can't we question an international brand as well? Because in my opinion, this is a pretty expensive product uh, and I am getting something that's way, way, way more affordable and the quality and the quantity is almost the same. My second point and one of the most important guys and I want to urge each and every one of you is please just don't go on the marketing of the brand 
on the fact that it's an international brand and you uh, shut your eyes and just buy and invest your money because it is your hard-earned money and I really want to urge each one of you to do your own research deep dive into ingredients and see what is there in the product before you actually go ahead and purchase the product because time and money both are of premium these days now although you guys are already aware of this I wanted to say this in uh, as many little words as possible uh, is that since time is at a premium for all of us one thing that I can assure each and every one of you the entire of my subscriber family is that you can trust me now I take full responsibility for researching further when it comes to any sort of beauty products skincare hair care and deep dive into ingredients textures skin feel formulation so on and so forth with the best of my abilities and bring you only honest content on this platform like I always have now with that guys it's a wrap if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell and until I see you next guys thank you so much for watching love you all bye bye